Hey everyone, it's Laura here from makingcardsisfun.com and today I'm here with a review on some new dye ink pads. These are dye ink pads by Umbrella Crafts and they are all available at scrub scrapbook.com. I got the chance to try out six of these new dye ink pads so I thought that it would be fun to share an honest review with you. I will also be using these ink pads in my upcoming Saturday STEM Day card and video, so stay tuned for that. These dye ink pads come in 45 different colors, so there's a huge variety of colors. And they are made in the USA, and then they also promise to give you like crisp and stamped images every single time. So that's why I decided to do a video so you could see if they actually give you crisp results. So the first color I want to share with you is the baby pink color. I got this color because I just love pink and well, pink is my favorite color. Uh, then I also got the rose petal ink and the first thing that I noticed is that the color doesn't match with the color on the lid. So the stamped color is a little bit different than the color on the lid, but I will talk more about that later. Then I also got the coral color. This is like a beautiful corally, well, yeah. The, the name says it, it's a coral color, of course. And I also got the Marsala color. And then this is the Robin Egg Blue ink. And it surprised me that this color was so light since it's a little bit more of a turquoise on the ink pad itself. And then I also got a green ink pad color, which is called Sea Glass. And I really do love that color because it's such a beautiful and light green. When you purchase these inks at scrapbook.com, then you will see um, a picture of what the color actually looks like when it's on paper. So you can clearly see on the website that the Robin Egg Blue ink is a lot more lighter than the color on the ink pad itself. So be sure to check that out before you um, add it to your cart or before you purchase it. So now I'm just going to compare these colors to the other ink pads that I already own. As you can see, the baby ink color is, baby pink color I mean, is a very unique color and I didn't have anything like that before. The rose petal color is a little bit similar to the Simon's Stamp Twirling to Two color, but it's slightly darker. The coral uh, ink pad is really unique as well because I don't have any ink pads that look like that color. Then the Marsala color is a little bit similar to Raspberry Jam. However, Raspberry Jam from Hero Arts has more of a purple undertone in there, while the Marsala color is more of a red, you know, like red wine. The Sea Glass color is also one of my favorite colors that I got to try out because I didn't have a color like that yet. And normally green ink pads are kind of uh, similar to each other, but this one's really unique. Then the Robin Egg Blue ink pad is a little bit lighter than the Simon System Serve Blue ink. So overall, these colors are unique and I didn't really have uh, colors that are similar to these except for the uh, for the rose petal color. So when you will try to open these ink pads and you will notice that it's kind of tricky and they are really sturdy. So the lids are quite sturdy and when you like when you uh, drop them or anything the lids won't fall off. So I think that's a bonus because that way the lids won't open and the inks can dry out. So if you want to open these ink pads, then you just have to put the point of your scissors between the lid and the actual ink pads and then you can easily open them. I decided to also show you what these ink pads look like when you stamp them. So when you first stamp them, you will notice that the stamped image isn't that smooth. It's actually even a little bit splotchy. Um, but when it dries, maybe like a couple of minutes later, um, you will get some really smooth and crisp results. So as you can see, when you just stamp that, the ink pads or the, the stamped image will look a little bit darker than it does when the image is all dried up. So I'm just going to show you the rose petal color as well. And then you can also see how I have to open my ink pads. I'm just stamping a solid image and then an outline image. I will be using the same stamp set in my upcoming Saturday STEM Day video, by the way. This was the Gut Candy stamp set by Essentials by Ellen. 
I also wanted to show you the robin egg blue color one more time so when you stamp it as you can see it's a really light blue color and it's not really the same as the color on the ink pad but as I mentioned before you can clearly see that on the website so be sure to check that out before you purchase these ink pads so when you go to scrapbook.com then you can check out all of the inks and there will be an image of what the ink looks like when it's on paper so you can clearly see what the color looks like so here are all of the stamped images as you can see they are really smooth and crisp just like they promised to be so i'm just going to put my little charts over there by the way i will have a picture or a scan actually of all of these inks on my block and then you can also check out how they compare to the other colors so these inks uh, promise not to smear or smudge when using alcohol markers i just used an, uh, a copic marker over there and just scribbled it over that image and i just really love how that um, outline of the uh, ghost didn't smear or smudge so that's really good then it also promises not to smear on water color paper when using watercolors so I stamped that uh, little ghost using the baby pink ink on some watercolor paper and here I'm adding some water to the ghost and I'm going to color that using some tattered rose distress ink so I'm adding a lot of color a lot of water and the ink doesn't bleed at all so just I'm really happy that it doesn't bleed way you can use that color to do some uh, no line water coloring I haven't tried that technique myself but I may have to give it a go very soon because I think that that technique will become very popular in the upcoming months so here's the image of that stamped ghost and as you can see the ink didn't smudge or bleed or anything like that so I'm just really satisfied with these ink pads so here you can also see the stamped image um, with the alcohol markers and you can even still see the line of that go. So overall I would most definitely recommend these inks to any card maker or scrapbooker and they just they do what they promise to do so that's very good. Be sure to visit my blog for more information and for a comparison of these colors. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back on Saturday. See you then. Bye bye.